Now alien in number nine. <laughs> Argumentative one, this one. A lot of people will go, it's not really a horror movie, it's more of a sci fi kind of movie. Like, my argument with that is, yeah, it's sci fi y, but it's also horror. It's a mixture of sci fi and horror. Um, whenever people say to me, no, it's not horror, sci fi, I say to them, in space, no one can hear you scream. That's not a horror line, I don't know what it is. In space, no one can hear you scream. That's horror, isn't it? Because it means. And we can kill and you scream, but no one can hear you. So, yeah, that's why I put down as horror. Uh, very good movies. It's different, that's the thing about it. It's different to the typical horror movie. The problem with horror movies is a lot of them are like repeats, kind of like slightly different, but very much the same, like copy. But this is changing it a lot. Um, Alien is because it's set in space, completely different, all of them others. It's alien, so it's got that whole entire new creepy element to it. Um, very good films, very good. I recommend them a watch if you like your sci-fi kind of horrors. If you really don't like aliens or sci-fi or anything like that at all, and you're just a pure horror fan, but you don't like aliens or anything like that, you find it silly. You might not find this film that good. You still give it a try. You might enjoy it, but you probably might not because it's aliens. But if you like your sci-fi and your horror, you'll love this film. This films, there's a box out of them actually. So yeah, I'd recommend giving this one a watch. And the other one would be Predator. It's a action horror. Um, I'd put them all down as an action. That's the reason why I haven't put it on this list. I don't think because it's got Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. And um, yeah, that's the reason why I haven't put. Predator in here, but I would recommend giving it on a watch as well if you like Alien. <laughs> Next, number 10, we really will actually be putting down the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I've watched every single one of these movies. Leatherface. Good movies. I, I wouldn't put down, them down as the top films. They are very good though. As you can see, this image is a very old version of it. The original Texas Chainsaw Massacre was a long time ago. Um, once again, it's the story of it, it's different, it's not like a copy, it's a completely different time, kind of story. But he's using human flesh for his face, because his face, I think he was, as a child, he was, put this in a good way. Mm. Let's just say he had the, um, a disability, it's a soft, very soft way of describing it. Really, he had like a disfigured face in a way, and um, because he he was ashamed to show his face, and people used to bully him. Like people used to bully him when he was younger. He ended up being a psycho, of course, in the film, didn't he? And he and whenever he killed his enemies, he'd take their faces and he'd stitch them all together, stitch them all together, guys, and he would put them on his face. So then he'd wear the faces of the people he's killed. Very sick film. As it is it, man. But it's excellent. Excellent films. Love them. So, yeah. Really, it's actually very good films. But, once again, it's, you could say it kind of takes elements from Friday 13th. I think this actually was before Friday 13th, so it could have been where they get the ideas from. Um, here's a little thing for you Halloween, Michael Myers. The, the mask was from something from Star Wars or Star Trek, I'm not sure. And, um, it's so good what I was going to tell you then, but I don't know, I forgot that. I don't remember now. Here's the guys, um, so that was, um, I should look it up really. It's interesting. But, um, Leatherface, yeah, excellent movies. Text Chains of Massacre. The newest film was Leatherface, 2018. Very good movie, too. Doesn't exactly follow the original. If you go and watch it for the first ever time, you have to watch the original. Because otherwise you won't get the backing story of how Leatherface came along. So you have to watch the very first one, the original one. I actually watched it when I was on the holiday once. That was the first time I watched it actually. It was very good movies. On, um, I think they're on Netflix. Netflix if you can get them. Next one, The Omen. Oh, what's his name? Dave's not Dave. Not David. What, 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 what was it? 666. Um, Damien. Damien. That's the one. 
Damien, that's a child. The Omen, Damien, he is one creepy ass child. He was born of a Sith, of a Sith, of a Sith. As you know, 666 is the devil's number. So, what the whole entire thing of the movie was, is Damien the devil. He was born on the devil's birthday, 666. So, yeah, very good films. A lot more to it than that. The creepy dog in it. Um, excellent watch, recommend it. I'm not going to just tell you anymore, I can't kind of just spoil it, really, man. But very good films. Next, I'm going to stop numbering them now because you get a point. I just want to number the top 10 now and going to go on. If it, well, no, actually, these are in order still, guys, so sorry about that. I don't want to confuse, confuse you. These are still in order, so these are 10 to any, these are exactly in order. But. I'm going to stop numbering each one. Next one, The Purge. Excellent films. Newer kind of films, actually. Um, early, late 2000s. 2006 was the first one. You can't, that's late 2000s, early. It's not early, it's late 2000s, I'll say. So, um, The Purge. New, unique kind of films. Um, I've actually got Purge Mask. The first one is excellent. Every single one since was good, but I think and the most recent one I found it was a bit over the top in a way. With the guy in it, it was almost like he could take on everyone. And also it didn't really have good representations in it really of stuff. <laughs> so yeah, I wasn't really a fan of the newer ones, but the original was very good, I think it really were. Um I think just in the newer ones, it was almost like they made the human in like too powerful. Like he just gave you onto a building, taking everyone, wasn't he? and that was a bit. It always felt like it was a bit unrealistic to me, unrealistic. So I didn't really like that. But the very original one, very good, where they started knocking on door trying to get into the rich people's houses, into the rich people's house, and then very good. I'm not gonna spoil it, but very good film. You gotta watch it. Also, TV series on it. Loving TV series. Very good, excellent. Next one, Psycho. Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. Excellent movie. Very old. If you're watching now, it might feel a little bit old, but story-wise, excellent. Absolutely excellent film. Um, I'll admit it to you. I haven't watched this for a good few years, so I do not really remember that much about it. But um, I do remember it's a very good film. So I'm gonna kind of like go on to the next one now, as I can't really tell you that much about it, as I don't really remember. But um, recommend the watch, good films, especially if you like your Alfred Hitchcock films, and if you like your kind of old type of horror movies, you'll definitely like this one. <laughs> and the next one will be the Blair Rich Project. Um, this film is argumentative. Um, it wasn't really the, it was the scare factor of it. I suppose I had a scare factor to it, but it it was big because it was the most successful blockbuster in the cinema to have such a low budget. It was a seriously low budget film, man. And if you watch it, you'll see how low budget it really was. I really did not spend much to make it at all. They didn't. But it really done well in the cinema, so with the profit margins that they had on the film was amazing, absolutely skyrocket. So um, yeah, that was why it's such a big film really. Also a lot of people found it scary because the night time this I haven't watched it for a couple of years. I, I do sort of remember it. If the sticks, it's sort of crap the sticks, didn't they? If the Blair Rich it was the rich, of course, the rich. Um, we never actually got to see the rich in the original film, I don't think. And we might have in the recent one, in the most recent one, but in the very original one, you never actually got to see the rich. So it was like a mysterious figure, a figure who you didn't actually see, but they had certain actions that they'd done in the film. It's a very interesting film. Um, I would say some of you might not like it, and some of you will. It's a it's a type of film where it's not for everyone. 
I wouldn't say it's for everyone, it's not for everyone, but I think it's it's a unique film, very unique. So um, I definitely recommend the watch. Jaws. I do not see this film as a horror movie. I've only included this in here because it's down on horror genre. I think it's a very good film, that's the reason why I put it in here, but I don't see it as a horror movie myself. <laughs> But um, I looked it up and a lot of people were saying oh, I really don't think it is either and there's some people saying yes it is. But at the end of the day, when if it came down to it, they said Jaws is a horror movie because it's a shark eating people in the water. Fair enough. <laughs> there is a horror aspect. So, I put Jaws in here. Um, oh, my favourite thing in the film is <laughs> it's very strange to take this away from a film but favourite part of the film was the soundtrack. Dun it. Dun it. Dun it. Dun it. Dun it. Dun it. Yeah. Now that you, you get the point. You can just look up Jaws theme. Very good. That was favorite part of the film whenever you knew the shot was coming. So yeah. And also um, the iconic scene from it. What, what was the scene? Oh, it's killing me now. I, I, I've got to know. I've got to know what it is. We need a bigger boat. Something like that, I think it was. I think it was that, wasn't it? We need a bigger boat. Might be slight, slightly different, but I think I've got it close enough. See ya. Jaws, very good film. I'm sorry, but I was just checking for another buzz. Now on to the next one. Candyman. Very good films, especially the originals. They really are. Um, once again, key scenes. Look in the mirror. Candyman. 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 He said, I can't remember how many times he said, I think it's four. Candyman. And I'm pretty sure it's the kid in the pig's mask. The peers. He's like really, really creepy and scary. But the Candyman, he's. I'm pretty sure he was. Oh, he's the guy who burns the dead body, isn't he? And then um, he starts coming after people if they say his name three or four times. I can't remember how many in the mirror. He comes for him. Very long time since I've actually watched this. <laughs> Um, I think three or four years ago, I last watched Candyman. So yeah, hard to remember. But um, I remember excellent movies. Definitely recommend to watch. Definitely do. I need to watch them again. Actually, They're very good movies. So yeah, I definitely recommend watching it. Another one, Carrie. If you have got a taste for terror, take Carrie to the plot. Now this film. I have watched it. I just don't really remember that well. If only they knew she had the power. Now, um, this is Stephen King film, so obviously it'll be very good. The Stephen King one. I'm pretty. Well, I'm gonna go off by description. I really don't remember that well at all. I can't even tell you about it. I don't remember. But I just know it's a very good film. I do remember it being good. I just don't remember. Sorry, guys. Um. I definitely recommend it. Recommend you to watch it if you think the description sounds good. The description sounds good on it. Um, Stephen King, so very good film always. And um, yeah, on to the next one. Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. I'm gonna admit it. I've never watched it. Never watched this film. Very iconic. Old film, man. Very old film. Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds is. But uh, very famous. Very famous film. And um, The Birds. They were all like, in the town. That's all I know. I met. I know it's creepy. I should have read up on it first. Wonder if it. But I'm actually planning to watch it soon, so didn't really want to spoil it. But um, yeah, if you like Alfred Hitchcock films, and if you're interested in watching like, an old kind of horror movie, this is one in first its kind. Definitely, it's definitely watch it. Man. And definitely watch it. Now the Silence of the Lambs. I definitely have watched this one, guys. 
Was it, I watched this one earlier this year. And the film's very good. Very good film, I loved it. Um, I thought it was very unique, really, the film. Incredibly unique. And the reporter's here. She goes down to visit the uh, mental... Mentally unstable man. I don't remember his name. And just, uh, he was very good as a character. The actor did an excellent job of portraying him. Very good job. Um, it was like he was almost messing with him in a way. Messing with her mind. Um, in the end, he managed to escape. Because he was locked up there forever. And, um, yeah, it was a very good film. I don't, I don't really want to spoil it, so I'm not going to say anymore. I don't really want to spoil it, but very good films. Also, um, Skull. Creepy. The Shining. Go love this film. The iconic photo. Um, it's, it's got Jack Nicholson as the actor in it. Very good actor. Very good he is. Um, he usually portrays the same kind of character in films. Um, usually the unstable, mentally unstable kind of character. He he was the actor in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. He did a very good job in that. If you haven't watched that film, I definitely recommend it. I do. I definitely do. Um, very good also. I see who's that now. Watch it. So, um, watch that on Netflix as well. Yeah, very good film. Uh, the Shining. Just by him alone, I'd watch it. I'll tell you. But yeah, very good film. I, I'm not going to say anything about it because I don't want to spoil it. You know, because if I say anything, it might, I'll probably end up spoiling it. So um, I'm going to leave it there. But I'm going to say, watch it. Very good film. The Clown, the one which I mentioned earlier on. Which I mentioned earlier on, this one was. The Clown from Master of Terror, Terror Ellie Roth. They are as terrifying as you think, the clowns. This is my um, favourite ever clown, clown film. And I personally find it better than it, but I don't want to put it up because... Um, I probably should have put it, should have put it up here, really. But um, you know, this is one of my favourite ever horror films, actually, the clown. Excellent movie, I'm not going to spoil it. Um, but the man... It's to do with a clown costume. He finds a he finds a clown costume in a box, and then one day he decides to wear it for, for um, a child's birthday party. As he's going to dress up as a clown, <laughs> so he wears it. <coughs> and then whenever he goes home, he tries to take off the costume, but it won't come off. It's stuck to him. The costume is actually just stuck to him, it is. and he can't get the costume off. And then over time, people start finding him weird because he went to take the costume off. But over time, he starts turning into the clown. And it's almost like the clown starts taking over him and his mind, and he becomes the clown. It's a very good movie. Incredible. I'm actually going to put this up the list after this video. I'll put it in the top 10. This is one of my favorite horror movies ever. Excellent film. If you're looking for a good horror movie for Halloween or just for general watching, watch The Clown. It's just called Clown on Netflix. Excellent watch. You need to watch it. Amazing film. Very good. Love that film. We've only watched it once. I need to watch it again, actually. So, yeah, definitely watch it. Excellent film. <laughs> Another fly. I really did actually watch this early this year or last year. I don't remember. <laughs> but it um, doesn't feel like it's that long ago. What's the game of the same kind of um, concept, really, actually. Um, right, it's the same kind of concept. So I'm not going to say it's exactly the same. The, the man is a scientist. He's starting to experiment with flies and other insects. Um, he's trying to make them bigger, I think. So, the flies and stuff, he's like trying to experiment with how to make them bigger. He's messing around with their genes and stuff like that. And genes, he gets himself a girlfriend. She starts uh, doing all stuff with him. But in the end... He ends up getting a fly stuck in his vein or something. Sorry, his vein or something like that, I'm not sure. I think he gets out in the end, but then he decides to put himself inside of a machine. Because he wants to make himself like more powerful or something. I don't exactly remember, he wanted to add more genes to himself to make himself look better, smart, stuff like that. So he done it. 
but a fly managed to get into the machine with him and he didn't know and then over time after that he ended up turning into the fly because it mixed both the fly and his genes together and it made a human fly so it was a human life sized fly where he, he could almost think for himself but then he also couldn't Excellent films, there's more than one of them, but two, two of them, I think there's only two of them. Very good films, um, definitely recommend to watch if you haven't watched it. There's definitely will do.